and welcome to The Vegan Pulse. I am your host, Nancy Arenas. Today, my guest is Linda Middlesworth. Her number one passion and goal in golden life is to teach others how going vegan can improve human health, help the animals, and benefit the planet. She is a food for life, nutrition, and cooking instructor for Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. She is also a vegan health coach at Vegan Mentor. She also helps vegan advocacy groups by organizing demonstrations and rescuing animals. Stick around, I'd like to introduce her to you. Hi, Linda, how are you? I'm fine, how are you, Nancy? I am doing very well, thank you for asking, appreciate that. <laughs> what I want to know is, why and when did you become vegan? Well, it was over 32 years ago. Wow, congratulations. Was, <laughs> thank you. When I was 44, I wish I had known when I was born, but of course many of us don't and didn't. But I was so lucky to move in next door to a lady who told me what happened to cows. She was telling me about cows. I was having all kinds of health issues. I had heart disease, I had cancer. I had about 50 pounds too much on me and I was an aerobic instructor full time. And yet I was still overweight and I was quite ill. I didn't feel good. I, had, I was kind of sluggish. I would pretend that I was strong when I would teach my classes, but I really wasn't feeling very good. And then of course I was very frightened because cancer you know, is a frightening word. And when the doctor told me that I was devastated but fortunately, I started doing research and I had a new neighbor who told me about Dr. John McDougall. I don't know if you know Dr. John, but he saved my life. I would not be here today over 32 years later without his help. What I did was she told me, have you ever heard of Dr. John McDougall? I said, who? And she said, oh, Linda, you just got to get his book and you got to find out about Dr. John. I said, Okay, so I went down that day, the day we went on a dog walk around the park together. Afterwards, I went down, got the book, and I read it from cover to cover. It didn't take that long because I was vitally interested. You know, when you get the cancer word, you want to live. I did. And I read every sentence over and over again. And I realized that I was never told the truth about our food choices. I was never told by one doctor that what you're eating is not okay. A, a, a few years earlier, and when I lived in Ohio, I had a big lump about the size of a golf ball in my breast, my left breast, and had it removed. It happened to be not cancerous, which was lucky. But I asked the doctor then, what happened? What happened? Am I eating wrong? Is it my food? And he said, ah. I told him what I ate, chicken and fish and sometimes barbecued ribs, all the horrible stuff, cheese. Of course, I ate cheese. I was addicted to cheese like most people are. And he said, no, your food is fine. It's not your food. I said, it's just a random cancer lump or pre-cancer lump. And he said, no, nah, you're fine. So I went happily along eating everything as usual until I ran into my neighbor and Dr. McDougall. After I read the book, I jumped right in and did it perfectly except I didn't do it perfectly as far as the added oil. I was eating added oil. Like I would go out to dinner and order four servings of French fries with oil and that and a glass of wine and that would be my dinner. And so I, I lost about half the weight I needed but I couldn't get the last 25 to go until I started to go completely um, whole food plant based plant and no oil. And I did very little refined flowers too. That, well, not completely, but I, that came off later. So that's how I got there and I turned my life around. I'm still here, I'm still an aerobic instructor and I feel better now at 76 than when I was 44. Wow. It's, it's a wonderful feeling to feel this good when you're old. And I want all my clients now to feel like I do. Yes, it's yes. just wonderful to feel this great. Well, and you look great. <laughs> and well, I'm so grateful I'm that you're here. <laughs> I'm very strong. Can you see the muscle there? 
I can see the guns. I can now do my <laughs> three year old. <laughs> I can now do my three year old. So so now tell I, me. Uh, <laughs> so I now tell me, um, how does detoxing from meat um, heal us? You know, oh. our skin, our gut everything our mind well what happens is when you're eating all the animal products and the oils as well what happens is your gut microbiome are all messed up and when you eat meat you're actually or oil or any of those animal products like cheese what happens is you're destroying your endothelial cells so your heart disease becomes worse and worse i had terrible heart disease and no more but it so your gut has to repair itself. So that's what happened to me when I put in the whole food plant diet. Then uh, my gut biome turned around and I was able to lose the weight because I was eating fiber now. None of the animal products or oils have fiber. Fiber is key to not only the weight loss, but maintaining your weight loss and also having your heart work properly. You want your endothelial cells to produce the nitric oxide in them. The nitric oxide is what holds open and get that blood flowing so you have more energy than ever before. Before I was always sluggish and tired and I didn't like to get up in the morning early. Now I get up at five o'clock ready to go. I'm ready to go full of energy to have this much energy and feel so good. So no matter what happened in my life, I had a lot of tragedy in my life. My husband died, my grandson died. So I've had a lot of tragedy like many people do. And, but the reason I could get through it is because I'm taking care of myself. And that's what I want everybody to do because there's no reason to put the animal products in your body. They actually, promote diabetes and cancer. I teach Food for Life with uh, Dr. Neil Bernard on, in that program. So I teach cancer and diabetes classes. If you don't want diabetes and you don't want heart disease and you don't want cancer like I had, then you really need to change to a whole food plant diet. I was I'm just, done. Go I was ahead. just gonna say um, that, uh, now tell me about your uh, vegan mentor program, because you do coaching and you do um, the classes for physicians yeah. committee on responsible me medicine. Such yeah, I, I have my vegan mentoring uh, program is a two parts. One, I do coaching. I, I do a 30 day vegan health coaching program. First, I tell people what to do, what to read, what to eat. Before COVID, I used to take them shopping. So we'd have a whole two or three hours shopping together to see which foods were the healthiest food choices and what things I buy to help myself and could help them. And after the shop, now I, um, I don't do the shopping because of the COVID. So I have to do everything over the phone with them. And then they go for 30 days, they, they log their food choices to me either the night of or the following morning and let me know what they were eating. After I've told them what they should be eating, I have guidelines they have to follow, especially if it's in weight loss, then we're going to avoid some of the higher caloric density food, even though they're vegan. So a lot of people like myself, when I first went vegan, I was so excited about vegan food. I ate all the vegan junk foods you could find. The donuts, the bologna, the, the vegan bologna, everything I could find vegan. But I wasn't, I couldn't never take off all the weight either with that. And it didn't help my heart that much. So I, um, the vegan mentoring program has been really successful. I'm called the vegan bitch for a reason because I tell them when they start with me, they have 30 days, they have to go clean and I, they can't fall off the wagon. Just 30 days. That's all I ask. If they fall off the wagon ahead of time, I say, sorry, you're not ready for me yet. Maybe next month you're going to come back. Because I found out after two or three weeks when I started years ago, people would say, oh, it's grandpa's 100th birthday. I'm going to eat that cake with all the oil and whatever in it. And I said, nope, sorry. This, you have to change your taste buds. That's what I try to do. And then I also teach the food for life cooking and nutrition classes which is Dr. Neil Barnard based in Washington, DC. I love these classes. I teach at the colleges and sometimes the hospitals and I'm able to go in there 
and, and give whole videos from Dr. Bernard showing why our food choices matter. And then people do it and they also have great success there too. People, I had one lady in one of my very first food for life classes, she was in a wheelchair and her brother wanted to do it. She, he wanted her to do it. And since he was the cook, she was 80 pounds overweight and she lost that within like six months because he changed her food. So she could get up and walk better now than she could ever do before. And it's such an amazing thing. I had one lady had diabetes for almost 27 years and the metformin would be added, subtracted, added, subtracted, but her diabetes was always getting progressively worse. She took one class from me and now for the last five and a half years, she's diabetes free. Awesome. So these horrible diseases that plague us can be reversed and it's just wonderful. I want to thank you because what you're doing, you have a story to back up the health information that you are sharing with the people who come to your coaching classes. And I will have that information on our website and on this video. So if people want to touch base with you, contact you, that they can do so. I thank you so much, Linda, for sharing your story, for being on the show. I appreciate it. And please stay safe. We need you for a long, long time. <laughs> thank you, Nancy. I appreciate you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you for watching another episode of The Vegan Pulse. I am your host, Nancy Arenas. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and check out our blog. Until next time, if you have a pulse, you have a purpose. Live vegan.